Hi, are you into self-knowledge, self-understanding? Do you pursue what they would call paranormal pursuits? I do and have done for years. I got into automatic writing in 1968. And of course, that was a consequence of reading appropriate books to deal with spirituality. I'm talking about spirituality, not religion here. Real spirituality. Looking at finding out about yourself first hand. I started way back in 1968. Now, if you look on the internet, you will find hundreds, possibly thousands, maybe even hundreds of thousands of postings to do with the paranormal. Near-death experiences, out-of-body experiences, messages from the other side, etc., etc. When I first started this way back in 1968, I felt, as so many do, this can't be right. I'm going crazy here. This is insanity. And of course, feeling that way, you're reluctant to confide in friends, but you might think, well, there'll be an authority out there who will know a little bit about this. So my idea of an authority was to ring up the Sydney University and ask for the head man dealing with the subject of psychology. This is what I did. And when he came on the line, I asked him, I said, Sir, I understand that Duke University in the United States have been studying parapsychology since 1929. Does the University of Sydney have a faculty on parapsychology? There was a long pause. And then he came back and he said, We don't believe in that sort of bullshit here, son. <laughs> and that was it. So I hung up and I had nowhere to go. No one really to confide in. And of course, as the years went by, I realised that I wasn't crazy after all. That there were a lot of other people out there who dabbled in parapsychology, people who were clairvoyant, clairaudient, people who could handle something and talk about the owner of that thing. All of these things I learned later on. But at the time, I guess I was in some way at the forefront, in the vanguard. And of course, that's always a dangerous place to be. I dare not confide in anyone, except the one person who introduced me to the subject. Other than him, no one. For many, many years, I kept it to myself. At least 20 years. Why? Because in the old days, back in the 70s, 60s, 70s, and before that, maybe even in, into the 80s, if you were to talk about parapsychology to a doctor, he would probably refer you to a psychiatrist, and before you knew it, you'd be taken away by the men in the white coats and fed Valium in one of those institutions. Because parapsychology just wasn't believed in. People who could do these things were regarded as insane. And I expect even today, a lot of conservatives still, still feel that way. But I thought I'd put this video out just in case there are other people out there who do have paranormal experiences and think that they are out of their mind. Well, where is the mind anyway? Don't for a moment think it's just contained in your brain box. It's not. But where is the mind? Where are you? The I am in all of this. Dwell on it. And if you do have psychic abilities, rest assured you are just one of the millions of people 
in the world who also have them too.